Hi, I'm Jillian. And I'm Maury. And we're with Extra and here at the 24th Annual GLAAD Media Awards in New York City. We are here to watch, talk to some people, see what's going on. Madonna will be here tonight presenting Anderson Cooper with an award. Thank you so much for coming out today. What does it mean to be here at GLAAD? Um, it's very um, a huge honor for us and our family as a whole uh, to actually be nominated and be here tonight. I mean, with everybody that's here, there's some you know, big-time name stars, and it's just nice to be on the, I never imagined that we would be here. Oh, you look gorgeous. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, your brother... The Sugar Bear's brother. It's my brother-in-law, Sarum. You recently came out and, uh, and said he's HIV positive. Yes, um, you know, um, his, you know, we do support him, but um, his personal, you know, life is his personal life. But we do very much support um, him being gay and being HIV positive. Chris, you've had an interesting year as far as being kind of an advocate that no one would really expect for the community. Tell me why it is that you chose to be an advocate. Well, for me, primarily is because I saw someone being treated the wrong way. I mean, my, my main philosophy in life is treat other people the way you want to be treated. And I have a lot of freedom to live my own life the way I'd like to. You know, I'm, I'm married to a lovely woman. And it really doesn't make sense to me that other people who pay taxes, who serve in the military, aren't allowed to have the same rights that other Americans have. I mean, that's discrimination, plain and simple. What do you think that organizations like the NFL can do to help foster more of a tolerance and accepting attitude, both within their ranks and, and within the society at large? Uh, mainly just making it clear that, you know, uh, slurs, like calling someone a fag or, or gay or something like that, is just not, not tolerated because it's a workplace environment and it can make someone else feel uncomfortable. And at the end of the day, we're all there to win football games. You know, that's that's the whole reason we're there. So don't don't upset your coworkers, don't treat them poorly, because if someone does happen to be gay, you may be making them play at a lower level than they otherwise could be. And you know, that doesn't help you win football games. So what does it mean to be here at the GLAAD Awards today? Um, it means a lot because, you know, for me, I have zero tolerance for any type of discrimination, whether it be racial, religious, sexual preferences. You know, for me, civil rights are number one. And I want to know that as a mother, my daughter, if she comes to me in 10 years and says, Mom, I'm gay, I want to know that she's living in a world where her civil rights are protected, where she's respected, where she can walk with her head held high and feel like a normal member of society and not, you know, some kind of a subhuman, I don't know, it, it's just, there's so much tension in the world with these kind of concepts and I just want to know that my daughter is growing up in a place where she can be whatever she wants and feel respect for herself. I think it's very important to recognize um, a progressive growing homosexuality in the media and I think that Smash does a really good job. I grew up without any um, role models to look up to as far as actors. I mean, there was of course Harvey Firestein and Nathan Lane and Ellen DeGeneres you know, later on, but leading man actors carrying films on their back, there, you know, there weren't any outs. And what does that mean now that we do have more people out in Hollywood, out in the media? What does it mean for, for LGBT children? I think that, um, I think it's huge. I think that kids um, around the world are now seeing people like Neil Patrick Harris and just like the multitudes of people that are coming out in such a satisfying way, I think, to look at our younger generation and see how they're going to be able to be embraced and accepted a lot more. And, and they can actually dream of being actors and having these role models and, and look up to them in that kind of, in that kind of, not just musical theater, you know, like in a, in a straight acting capacity. Where do you see America as we move forward on LGBT rights? I think that we're moving in a really great direction. Um, I think it's taking a little longer than I would like for it to. I, I personally am a huge supporter of LGBT rights, and uh, I, I definitely think that no one has the right to impede on someone else's happiness, so I hope that we are moving at a more rapid pace, but I definitely think we're in, the good, good, in a good direction. People know you mostly as an actor and an advocate. I mean, I remember you from uh, My So-Called Life. Uh, tell us how important it is for there to be out characters and out actors in the media and in Hollywood. Well, believe it or not, even to this day, um, the truth is that some of the time, most of the time, the only LGBT people that people know are the people that they meet on their televisions, on their movie screens, that they read about in their newspapers. So the fact that we have characters who are portrayed in a fair and accurate and um, inclusive way is really important to how people um, learn about our stories. But I think that's all for us. I think that's it. I think we're out. We might wander over to the Kettle One Vodka Bar. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I think that might be a good idea. We've got a lot of hard work today. <laughs> well, I'm Ori Gibbons. And I'm Jillian Eugenios. We're with Extra.